So I set myself a challenge of trying to build myself a Zippo style lighter from scratch, every single component I possibly could. And it has been a challenge. In the last episode, we deep drew these copper case components. And today we need to finish up the case, make ourselves a little hinge, and tell you about today's sponsor, which is Raid Shadow Legends. This is the number one RPG game out there where you can experience conquest, defeat, and revenge. It's the iOS and Android game where you can collect and play with over 500 epic champions. Have a look at this, Gurga the Orga. Oh, I love it. What a diabolical looking champion he is. This is Bellina. He's a handsome lad and he is great in boss battles, especially with Xavier on the team. And this is a Bess who's a great choice in Arena. My favorite thing about the game is I think it's an incredible library of both historically inspired and futuristically creative weaponry and armor. And I'll never cease to be inspired by the awesome graphics. Whether you're on the go or you've got a little free time at home, there's never been a better time to start playing Raid, especially because if you'll use my link in the description or on the QR code up on the screen, New players are going to get a free starter pack worth almost 30 bucks. You'll be kickstarted with a free champion, Tyrol, 200,000 silver, one XP boost, one energy refill, and one ancient shard, so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get into the game. You'll find these rewards in your inbox for the next 30 days only. This is gonna look so cool. Let's see, will our existing inner case fit? Oh! That gives me so much happiness. Now, obviously, as you saw in the last episode, the deep drawing we did is not perfect. It's not a perfect looking case. There are some folds, so it's improper, but what it does do is it tells a story of the making of this. A story that I'm certainly not too ashamed of because this was one hell of a challenge. Now, if you look in the lid, of an actual Zippo case. You'll see there's a little lip of metal that folds around. That lip is a part of the hinge assembly and it interacts with this little sprung lever right here to mean that the case is held tight when it's closed. Once you lift it, it springs open and then has some resistance from falling back closed in the open position. And that entire hinge assembly is spot welded to the case. In our case, we're gonna be soldering it, but first we've gotta make it. Right, so here's what I'm working on now. Our hinge, of course, is this rolled barrel. And so I've taken this little bit of mild steel, we've squared it up in the mill, and the idea is we use this to form that barrel. I'm going to cut a slot and then drill a hole. In fact, I'll drill a hole, then cut a slot so the drill doesn't wander. We should hopefully then be able to slip our steel in and then with enough force, and hopefully not bending the steel up here, push it in to form it around the hole, maybe using a little mandrel in there too, to create the hinge. The trouble is, this steel is 0.45 millimeters thick. That's just 17 and a half freedoms. And so I need a slot that is that thin, and I don't know if I've got a clean means of making one. That's my thinnest end mill. That's an angle grinder cutoff disc. This little mini diamond cutoff disc gets close. Holy crap, look at that. It's actually perfect. There's the tool, here's the steel. Okay, I have no idea how we're gonna do this. Is it working? I don't know, I can't see anything. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> nope. Jamie, I'm gonna have a freaking panic attack here. That's way worse. Woo! Now we're cooking with honey. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> So the two hinge barrels are done, we've now got to form the appropriate protrusions for them to interact. Okay, time for the first test fit with a pivot. In goes a little tigwire. Oh! Ah! Don't 
rears. This part of the hinge requires two bends. So I'm just gonna heat it up and let it cool down so it hopefully bends without breaking. So those two bends, we are going to make just the same way we made the bends for the inner case. So we're gonna have to use the mill to quickly make up some simple little tooling. But while I make up the tooling, I'm also gonna install this stuff. Check this out. My friend over at Octane Work Holding has kindly sent me some T-slot inserts to save the mill getting gummed up with chips. Gently does it, this goes on top. Then gently does it, we try not to break it. Yours! Golly! That looks awesome! All right, now we clean it up for the soldering. It's gotta be clean metal. Now, before we solder it on, we need to make a little cutout in the copper that accepts the hinge barrels on both sides. We've got it assembled here, and uh, this is not accurate enough scribing, but we'll get it cut out. Next up, we've got to clean up the inside, so the inside of the case is ready for solder. So this is supposedly ready to solder, but how do I manage this order of operations? We need to have this hinge work, so there needs to be a pin in there that's riveted. But we need to be able to hold the hinge in the right spot in the case to be able to solder it. But if it's already riveted together, we've then got this floppy old thing and we're trying to hold it in place while we solder it in the perfect place, neatly lined up. How are we gonna do that? I've got no idea. It would be so much easier if we had access to the inside to be able to clamp and pin it. It would be so much easier if we super glued it. <laughs> How do I ensure that it ends up soldered together in such a way that the case lines up without there being any deviation because we put it in the wrong place using the wrong order of operations? That's the challenge. I've had an idea here. It's bloody risky. Are you gonna say what I think you're gonna say? I think I'm gonna say what you think I'm gonna say. So imagine we put these things in there. They're already riveted together, so the hinges work. We line it up, we put the solder on it, we line it up, we close it, and then we solder it blind, completely blind, by just heating it up from the bottom, both sides at the same time. This whole thing is just filled with risk, and we're at the last step with very limited clue as to how we finish it. I think it's our idea. I think we rivet it together, we plop it in, we heat it up, and hope, while soldered blind, it works. Here we go. We're gonna do it blind. The moment is upon us. This is tense. Can you feel the tenseness in the air? Hear that tense music? This means this is serious. Uh, you also hear me procrastinating? Because I don't wanna screw this up. We have spent a lot of time on this project. It's also kind of fun. All right, come on. <laughs> okay. It's almost time. Who knows if it will flow? But there's enough heat. I think it's done it. Whew. I think it's done it. It's cooled down. Will it work? <laughs> Jamie, look, 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 look. It's soldered. Could you imagine if I've... It doesn't open. Are you kidding me? Could you imagine if the solder has run all the way around the scene? I can't open it. <laughs> what if the mechanism is also soldered together? It's very possible. Ah! Out go the springs. Oh, I just bent the crap out of it, which means that it now won't close. A little tweak. We got there. Here is our entirely self-made inner Zippo case. It fits into the deep drawn copper. It closes. And it opens. I made my own Zippo! For legal purposes, this is not a Zippo. But have a listen to this. For legal purposes, that sounds nothing like a Zippo. That is my own handmade lighter from scratch. Everything apart from the wick, the cotton, and the flint was made here in this workshop. I cannot believe it. Ta-da! 
I'm gonna leave this just like this, oxidized, tarnished, and imperfect, because the deep drawing was an imperfect process. And there's no way I'm gonna try polishing up this turd, because this tells a story about what this journey was, which was a massive challenge, great fun, and all the better for having been able to bring you along. Thank you all so much for watching. And of course, a big thank you is owed to today's sponsor, which was Raid Shadow Legends. They make this possible. Please check them out at the link down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't you think this lighter goes well? with these asphalt steels. That's right. Follow the Alex Steel Co on Instagram to find out when we launch them. Thank you, bye-bye.